we're going to take a look at the the floor consoles that we brought back in the TV hall from a couple weekends ago. I think it was Labor Day weekend, or maybe it was Labor Day. So this is a Packard Bell. Did you have a model number on this? Nope. And it's kind of broken. Was that about a 21 inch rectangular? Yeah, something like that. We'll get a... So let's pull the back off and... Cut the grill cloth kind of deteriorated. Yeah, it's in bad shape. It's kind of dirty. We'll need a screwdriver. Man, this... Custom built, master crafted. Oh, there it is. Model 2723. Quality is job one. Okay, taking a look inside the Packard Bell, we have some missing vacuum bulbs. Missing for a long time. You can tell by the amount of dust on the socket. So, so that one went into the high voltage cage. That one's didn't missing. They? That one's missing. Yeah, that might have been the horizontal output is missing. There's one missing there. We can test the picture bulb. Okay, here we go. Why do I not expect anything good? Glowing. That's about all it's doing. Hmm. Oh, there it comes. It's starting to move. Oh yeah, let's go up to uh, like 9 volts. Pretty bright. This picture tube is dead. Dead. I let it cook for a minute. Okay, after baking at 8 volts for a few minutes, this is basically what we got when we get back to 6.3 volts. So this Packard Bell is uh, pretty much, you know, I don't want to say junk, but probably a part set. Okay, next on the list is a, it's a model number on this, RCA 9C272. This is a KCS what? 29C. Two missing vacuum bulbs. This is a complicated chassis, isn't it? This has a positive, these run a positive and negative B plus. Tons and tons of electrolytics. Now let's check the picture bulb. They just run a positive and negative voltage just for biasing and it makes it easy. Why do I not expect anything why do I not expect anything good out of this either? Oh, wait a minute. Kind of jumped up out of bed and then just, well, it's getting there. So this is a 16 GP4, is that what this is? Probably, yeah. There's a date on the deflection yoke, it says August 12th, 1949. And this is a metal bell, metal. Metal CRT that actually tests good. Look at that. 800 microamps and climbing. 
Well, this this uh, this CRT surprisingly checks excellent. Let's see, what is this? Is this a RCA input for what a phonograph or what? This is an incredibly tough to restore um, set. This is basically like that 10 inch RCA Bob Anderson did. I can't think of the model number right now. The, the first post-war set. These things just have a ton of capacitors in them. A ton of capacitors in them. That all have to be changed. It'd be interesting if we could I don't want to pull the chassis out right now, but just take my word on it. A lot of parts have to be changed in this to even think about it working. Here we have a Magnavox Corrosia Vision. Model MV29HB. Like a high boy. Tall cabinet. We will now feed the YouTube monster that is the all-seeing eye of Google. This one looks fairly complete. I think we have another hot one here. The Corrosia Vision is usable. Why don't we just plug this thing in and just shotgun it, should we? Get a cheater cord and just power it up. I wonder what the point of these are. I thought these usually connect. Yeah, that's a hot CRT. Let's, do, let's just power it up. See if it expires. Yeah. Looks like it's got a Loctal in it there. Okay, we're gonna bring this up on the Variac. Where's the power button here? Good going. Oh, it's not that. There it is. Yeah, the picture, the picture knob is the power knob. Eighty volts, ninety volts. Play with the knobs. Let's see if we get some sound or static out of it. Ninety volts. This is amps, by the way. I'm at one point three nine amps. Oh wow! I went. I hit. Let me back up off of that. Oh boy, that sucker's getting hot in a hurry. Play with it, see if we get any sound out of it. Move the channel thing and... All quiet, pretty much. I would say something shorted in it, but at 90 volts it's 1.9 amps, at 110 it's 3 amps. Wow. 
Yeah, it's, that seems excessive to me. What what do, what's it say here? What's it? Two hundred and five watts. So is that about one point eight amps? Yeah. Is there a capacitor? Wow, that sucker's hot. Oh, I heard some noise. Oh, there's a. Hmm. What? I thought no, that's one of the tuner tubes. I thought that was a tube laying in there loose. Yeah, it's... Pull that rectifier tube out. Here. Who wants to dare burn themselves, right? Okay. Let's, let's see what we're looking at now. Oh yeah, at 110 volts. At 110 volts we're only at 0.7 amps. So I'm driving 2.3 amps through the rectifier tube. That's not healthy. That This thing would make all kinds of pretty colors at night. So yeah, something shorted. Either one of the filters is shorted or something. Okay, our fourth 50s black and white console of the day is the Hoffman Easy Sniff console with deluxe green glass. Model P3101. All right, we'll pop the back off and check the picture bulb, although it looks like you don't even have to pop the back off. Oh, wow, look at the size of the speaker in this one. What is that, a 12? I believe so. Yeah, the 12. Flyback cage has been opened. Looks like all the bulbs are there. Okay. Oh, and as an extra added bonus benefit, it has a schematic, an unreadably small schematic. Okay, the Hoffman came up fairly quick, or it's 700 microamps. I guess that's make a, a fairly usable picture. Shouldn't be too cloudy. Probably come up after it runs for a while. We'll try the Variac on this one. Okay, we're gonna variac the Hoffman. See what happens. Okay, turn it on. Wow, 300 milliamps at 10 volts. That's promising. can almost kind of I hear the horizontal oscillator screaming Okay, mess with the sound in the... Yeah, the sound's all the way up. Oh, I think something just shorted. Hold on. I heard it start humming and the current went way up. Or is that humming from the speaker I hear?
There we go. I hear something. Yep. Look at the capacitor reforming. See it dropping here? Okay. That's the capacitor reforming. I'm at 100 volts here. When I move the tuner... I'm at 110 volts. Anything on... Picture? Right, man. For being outside and this adjust the vertical oscillator way too slow. There you go. Smoke. We have smoke. Now hold on, let me see where it's coming from. Oh yeah. I think it's just the, I think it's just the dirt burning off the, uh, away. yeah, I just turned it off. I think it's just the dirt burning off the, uh, 5U4. Oh, yeah. That sucker's hot. That sucker's cooking. That had to be red plating. I was only at two amps. What's the current draw on this thing? Doesn't seem excessive. 200 watts, so was, what about 200 milliamps over 200 watts? <clears throat> I don't know, this one's promising though. Very promising. Okay, and the final for the day is the RCA Portobile KCS-164, which I have the service manual for all these, so I pulled it out. What did they call this one? What was its name? Oh, the Delegate. Series string the letter following the third numeral and the model number designates the cabinet finish as follows. E is a black watch plaid roller grain textured vinyl slash fog white. A W is a Madrid roller grain vinyl shell gray. M is a taupe Irish linen Irish uh, roller grain textured vinyl fog white. I would say this is probably the Simulated like wood. Taupe. Um, simulated wood yeah, grain. Yeah, simulated wood, but where's where is simulated wood? It's not black, right? Uh, Madrid roller. So it was all coming from Europe, Madrid and Ireland. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? It popped up and then it's dropping down. It popped up to 800 and then it's no. Wow. You know what we should do? We should get two Kesha songs playing at one time. Bring that over here. Let's see what I got in here. I'm gonna try to pick up on that. Yeah, well, hold on. Pause it for a second. Um. Kesha. I'll do, um... It's creeping back up. Yeah, I know. We are who we are. Okay, here we go. Okay, go ahead. Hot and if you're 
Oh, what now? What now? Oh, what now? Oh, what now? Oh, what And then we'll get the airplane in there and we'll let the YouTube spy engine try and figure it out. Because we need to do an EOL for Brian that with three TVs. Or no, what would be better? is a quad screen video with Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, Wendy Williams, and uh, Judge Judy. There you go. Okay, here we go. Make sure that's down. One amp, or half an amp, and dropping. And the red lights flashing on the camera. Wow. 400 milliamps? Something's not working. Horizontal? Are the bulbs even glowing? Yeah, they're glowing. So it got a circuit breaker on it? You want to scrotalize that? Oh wait, yeah, there, there it went up to 800 milliamps. Got a picture. Oh. Horizontal is off. Not much sound. Oh, look at it. It's, we want to pull that down. I don't want to burn that. It's filling out. So, another one with deflection problems, capacitors, but another promising set. <laughs> 